let's take a look and see which fraction is greater here. Is 5 eighths or 7 twelfths? So you could do it two ways. One, you could just divide 5 by 8 on a calculator, get a decimal, 7 by 12, get a decimal, just compare them. Compare those decimals and figure out whether 5 eighths is greater than or less than 7 twelfths. The other way to do it is find a common factor, something that both 8 and 12 go into evenly. So then we can get the same denominator, just compare the numerators. Let's do that. So 8 goes into 24 three times, and 12 goes into 24 two times. So let's try that. 8 times 3, that equals 24. And then down here, 12 times 2, that equals 24. So now we have the same denominator. But we can't just multiply the denominator here by 2. We also have to multiply the numerator by 2. That's because 2 over 2, that's just 1. We're multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 7 times 2 is 14. Up here, let's multiply the numerator by 3. 5 times 3, that's 15. And so since we have the same denominator here, we can just compare the numerators. And 15 is greater than 14. So 15 24 that's greater than 14 24 only by 1 24 but it's still greater. And since these are equivalent fractions, these are the same value here, 5 eighths, that's also going to be greater than 7 twelfths. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.